All right, man. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. If you don't, hit the thumbs down. YouTube is not paying me, so I do what I want. All right, man. So last night, last night, last night, last night was an epic, epic moment in hip hop history. The Locks versus D Block. <laughs> Some DJ had the nerve to say that. You know what I mean? Uh, DJ Technique or whatever his name was. He was terrible. He was terrible. He played no Kendrick. He played no J. Cole, no Drake. He played none of that. Like, come on, bro. Stop this trap. trying to exclude them dudes from hip hop, bro. And uh, somebody said, oh, well. He played Jay-Z because it was the 25th, 25th anniversary of Reasonable Doubt. I'm not trying to hear that. I'm not trying to hear that. I'm not trying to hear that. Those three are the biggest artists of all time outside of Eminem. And he played no Eminem either. But it is what it is. So, The Locks versus Dipset. Now, full disclosure... I went into this thinking that Dipset was going to win. And I have good reason why I thought Dipset was going to win. One of the reasons why I thought Dipset was going to win because I thought that crowd crowd wise I thought Dipset had better songs that that appeal more to the crowd. You know, that would have people more, you know, rocking. And boy, was I wrong. <laughs> man, oh man, they got smoked. They got smoked, man. They got smoked. Like, it, there's nothing I can say. They got smoked. Like, now... I'm going to get into how I feel about the whole thing, but I'm just going to go on this rant real quick about why they got smoked. All right, so the locks came out first. And see, this is this is where I think that Dipset lost. First of all, they came out five minutes late, right? Okay, but why? Secondly, the locks, the locks knew what was coming they had a set their set was planned Dipset I don't think that they even knew what songs was coming on I, I don't think I think they just was just playing songs from their catalog see they could have made it debatable if they would have had a set and they should have strategically figured this out. Went through the Locks catalog and said, okay, if they play this, we're going to play this. If they play this, we're going to play this. If they play this, we're going to play this. And I think it would have been an even match. But they went out there like... <laughs> like joking around. You know? I mean, it was having fun. And I, and, and I respect that. And I think that that's the most important part of it. But just, just, just my rant part, my rant part. They got smoked. The songs that, now, I will say this. All the songs that I felt that they were going to win with, they won with to me. You know, I think they won with, oh boy. I think they won with um, the um, Dipset Anthem, you know. I think they won. I think they won with uh, um, a couple of songs, but I think that their songs is like their style. Now, getting to the locks, the locks need a better competition, and I think G Unit would would be would be a good if that was G Unit last night. It would have been epic. Even though last night was epic. 
Because let's be clear here. Dipset is one of the top groups of all time. Like, let's not let's not forget that. Let's not forget that they made their mark. Dipset is totally different from any other any of these other groups out here. That was, you know, they made their mark. You know what I'm saying? Now, are they, are they in the top 10? I would have to think about that. Maybe they're in the top 15. But top 10? I don't know. I don't think they're. I don't know. I would have to really go down the list. You got Mob Deep. You got Outkast, Goody Mob, Wu-Tang, G-Unit, you know, uh, State Property. The list goes on, man. You know? Goes on and on. So, who knows? But I would do... I'm probably going to do a video of that one day. Anyway. So, the locks strategic. They planned every move. They did it like it was a real battle. They knew what they was doing, man. They made them look bad up there. And again, this is not taking nothing away from from uh from Dipset cuz Dipset is a legendary group. But legend it, it, it just like Dipset is a legendary group within the top 20. Uh D Block LOX is a legendary group within the top five. <laughs> so that just goes to show you right there. Like, you know what I'm saying? How how that played out. You know, I think that Dipset, and I can't say that their personalities uh outshine their music because I think that their music carries on too. Somebody said, one of my friends said that their music didn't age well. I totally disagree with that. I could put a Dipset album on right now and it still feel like the same to me. You know, I think that the diplomatic, uh, diplomatic community, or whatever the first name my album name called, I can't remember. I think that's what it's called. That's a certified classic album. I'm sorry, <laughs> it is. So, but they got smoke, man, and I think that Jada Kiss, he want that top spot, man. He want that spot, top five dead or alive. I just, I, I, people can say he's top five. I don't, I don't think so. You know, I think that he had, he has his moments, but I can't put him over certain people. I'm sorry, like I just can't, like I can't. I think Jada Kiss is top ten, but top five dead or alive? Nah, I don't think so. I know I'm gonna get a lot of people say, "Oh, you wrong!" Blah 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 blah. blah, 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 blah. Whatever. I'm just saying that's how I feel. But Jada Kiss, he showed why he's a legend, man, and he put them boys in their place. You know what I'm saying? So if you've seen the battle on Versus, let me know in the comments what you think. And is Jada Kiss top five dead or alive? Let me know in the comments what you think. And did you think Dipset was going to do better? Or did you really feel like they was going to get smoked? Or did you think they was going to win? What you think? Like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is. Torture Talk. Boom.